Alrighty. What is up guys, welcome back to the project. Uh, I'm just going to do some very quick first impressions with a relatively expensive um, polymer handgun today. Uh, it is December 21st. Uh, it is 45 degrees out here or something. Uh, so I'm actually in shorts. I do have a jacket on, but uh, we, about a week ago, had, uh, we made headlines. The town that I live in had 107 mile an hour winds. Uh, and we, I think somewhere out around here recorded 117. Uh, and so I'm missing a lot of stuff out here. I've been cleaning up, uh, and I've got most of it cleaned up. Still got to set up all my rifle targets again. Uh, my bench took off. My blue barrel is gone. Sent the drone up. I don't know if I have that footage, but I sent the drone up looking for my blue barrel. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't have my little barrel and I have my short tripod. So we're going to try and make do with some stuff today. I'm going to be doing some first impressions of, let me get my bag off here, a very cool gun. You guys see that? You see that logo? See that logo? Can't even tell if it's upside down, can you? Achoo! Whoops. FN509LS Edge. Very, very, very pretty handgun. Uh, and it seems to be very well made. So I am going to just shoot it very quick, get some first impressions on it, see what I think about it. Uh, this is going to be a super short video, so bear with me. I will be right back. I'm going to start out with brass. I do have aluminum and brass. Uh, we're just going to just shoot it. I, I really don't know if this is one that's going to stay in the collection. It is a, a relatively expensive handgun. Seems very well made, but uh, because lack of a better option, I do have the USA shades on. I can't see through them, so whatever. First shots. Ooh. Nice sight picture. Okay. That's the uh, the very first shots out of that. Not bad. Uh, very nice sight picture. Let's try some aluminum here. Nope, that would be brass. There we go. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. It is kind of a unique sight picture. I have to stand away because I have you guys very janky rigged. But uh, you can see those fins on the rear. It's kind of making it hard to uh, to find the sights. Uh, that's just whenever you have the optics played on, I'm assuming to protect the optic. I actually don't know why they did it, but it looks cool. Gun shoots well, so let's just keep her going here with some aluminum. Uh, trigger's a little stiffer than I thought it would be. It's it's good, but it's, it's heavier than I thought. particularly transitioning very well but let's uh, go to our last little magazine here and I'll give you guys some impressions shoots well I'm not shooting it particularly well part of it is I can't see out of these stupid glasses uh, let's try this again try and mitigate some recoil here Not my best shooting, and I'm not particularly that far away. I'm only here at 10 yards. Uh, yeah, there's some things I do like, some things I don't like there initially. Uh, that trigger is a lot stiffer than I thought it would be. Uh, it's It seems to uh, pull heavier than it feels whenever you're shooting it. Uh, you do pull very straight back because of the flat face trigger. Don't know if I'm in love with it. Uh, the texturing, the grips are outrageously painful. I, uh, that's, that is some pretty aggressive texturing. All in all, I mean, what a, what a beautiful gun. I know some people probably won't like the looks of it. We're already, we're already chewing her up, boys and girls. Look at that. 
Let me, I tell you what, let me just load up another magazine, uh, and I will try one more, and I will just see if I can get it down just a little bit nicer. Alrighty. I just, I just shook up 10 rounds of brass and aluminum in my hand and then just loaded it. So however it went into the magazine is how it went in. I didn't pay any particular attention to it. Uh, and I'm just going to really focus on the recoil of this gun because it's, I don't know, I, didn't, I wasn't really paying attention. I was just trying to shoot it the first time. Uh, and I am just going to shoot at the little, like, 33% Ipsic over there. Uh, not going to go fast or anything. I just kind of want to get a feel for it. Uh, I, I personally need to work on the recoil control of this. I might have to change out that back strap. Uh, so it was me on that shooting. I thought so. Um, I'm ending and the, the barrel is still very high. Uh, I'm used to guns that have a, a, like a, a thumb cut out here, or at least the, the hook in the front. Um, and, and so sometimes I'll use that, that little bit of thumb traction to just keep the, the muzzle flip down. And so I noticed that whenever I was done shooting, my, my, my point of aim was still higher than I thought it should be. Uh, whenever I was transitioning the targets, I was still pointed much higher than I needed to be. So I was having to come back down. So I'm scooting across, dropping, scooting across, dropping. Um, all in all, man, what a, what a pleasant little shooting gun. I definitely like it. Uh, these are just, like I said, the first shots, and these are going to kind of be my first impressions. Uh, expect to see this gun a lot more. Uh, I know I haven't been making videos. Uh, it's because I took a different position at work and I've been very busy. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, we're going to try and get back to making videos. And I'm going to try and get back to shooting guns a lot. So, thank you guys so much for being here. Good luck, God bless. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.